Hi, welcome to Thiru Academy. Today we are going to discuss about how to generate QR code through Spring Boot application. For that I have already implemented the application. I will explain. Okay. Uh, here I am taking dependencies like Spring Boot starter dependency and web dependency. One more is Zing dependency. This is a third party API tool which we are using to generate QR code through Spring Boot application. Okay. This is the main dependency for generating QR code. Okay. Here I am not going to take any DB. Okay, the through Postman only, I'll test it and I'll show you how we need we will generate the QR code. Okay, this is the controller class. I have created QR code controller annotated with at the rate rest controller and provided the request mapping annotation for specifying the rest endpoint URI which I have specified as slash QR I have specified ok then uh, generated the QR code generated service class and added the dependency here to call the service layer method to generate that QR code ok then I have written one method which is useful to generate QR code that is generate QR code for that I have annotated with at the rate get mapping value I have provided as slash QR code slash content I am providing in this content we are sending that information oh, like uh, context uh, content whatever the content we are sending through URI for that content we are generating QR code ok producers I have specified as media type dot image underscore png underscore value this is uh, media type we need to provide for generating that QR code ok next when coming to method generate QR code is the method name and it will return the byte array in the form QR code it will return in the form of byte array ok here content we are taking in in the uh, from the endpoint whenever we are sending request in that request we are getting that content this we will get through at the rate path variable annotation we need to specify further to get that content ok here there is a chance of getting io exception so i have used throws keyword through to, to throw that exception ok in the width i am taking 200 width has taken 200 and height also same taken as 200 here we can adjust uh, uh, for generating the size of the QR code in rectangular format we will generate that uh, in uh, QR code so sizes I am specifying here width and height then I am calling that the service layer method generate QR code image method ok with that I am passing para for that I am passing parameters as whatever the content we are sending that content and width and height these parameters I am sending ok then coming to service layer I have annotated with at the rate service layer service annotation ok oh, for that uh, uh, useful to create pin object for this class QR code generator service class ok this is the method generate QR code image which returns the byte array. Here these are the parameters we are taking ok content and width and height. Here QR code writer is the class to generate that QR code it is helpful ok. Here QR code writer is the class which is implements the writer interface ok if by using that QR code writer will and we are getting the uh, whatever the co uh, QR code we are getting in the form of matrix bit matrix in the form of like in 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 some digital LEDs also we are seeing uh, 
like in matrix format right likewise it will generate that matrix format qr code okay here i have taken one map object for sending the encode hint type and object just empty map i have created in that map i am putting whatever that hint type we are taking as character set and format is utf8 format we are storing okay map is ready with us and we have created the reference for bit matrix class if we observe bit matrix is the class okay which implements the clonable interface and it represents a 2d matrix of bits okay if you can uh, clearly observe this text you can get it okay here encode is the method to generate bit matrix object with that provided content and barcode format we need to provide as barcode okay width of that qr code and height whatever the map we have created in that we need to provide character set right uh, that map we need to provide for encode method okay we are providing that parameter values for that encode method by using uh, whatever that qr code writer reference dot encode method we are calling okay it will return the bit matrix object in the form of matrix format it is returning that qr code okay we have 2d matrix bits over here we need to write that matrix bits in the form of image format right for that we are using byte array output stream stream object we are using to convert that matrix into image format okay preferred image is the class we are using here and to preferred image is the method to convert that bit matrix value to image format okay here we are providing that bit matrix reference and from that matrix we are getting the width and height and here we already have that bit matrix 2d array width and height we already provided by using here we are getting those width and height values okay and providing that width and height values and buffered image type we need to provide to buffered image class to get that qr code in the form of buffered image format we need to get it right for that buffered image class we are using to get that qr code okay finally we are getting that buffered image that image from now we have buffered image from that buffered image we need to convert it into 2d array right in the form of 2d array we need to get it for that image that get graphics is the method to convert that graphics 2d array okay it is returning that graphics image okay for that image qr code is one image for that image we need to set that colors okay color whatever the color you want to you can we can set it color dot instead of pink i am providing white okay uh, fill uh, in the form of rectangular we need to get it right uh, graphic starts fill rectangular rect is a method in for that we are providing parameters with dimensions we need to provide right for the dimensions values we need to provide graphic start set color black in the form of uh, in black and white we are getting that qr code image okay finally we have 2d graphics pixel we have for that graphics for that image we are we have added that colors 
and arranged in rectangular format finally we have we, we have used to for loop to iterate and we uh, to apply that colors to that image okay finally we have that graphics image and uh, that image we need to get it in the form of png or whatever the format we need to get it right uh, for that image ivo is the class and write is the method to get that image that qr image and whatever the format we are getting here i am specifying png and output stream is useful to write that uh, convert that image into byte array okay see if you observe write is the method it is written in boolean value finally we are getting that qr image in the form of byte array okay now i'll run this application and we'll test it okay run as spring boot application application is running it is 0080 port whatever that endpoint uri we are using qr slash qr code okay slash slash qr code content i am providing spring boot application qr generation example okay then i am sending see we are get we got that qr code okay see uh, i'll scan this and i'll show you whatever the content we have provided for this content it is this is the qr code okay i'm copying yeah fine we have saved that image and bar unknown barcode reader is the site to verify okay i am choosing file from this whatever that i have saved and i am reading see spring boot application qr generation example same the uh, uh, same the content we have provided here okay see spring boot application qr generation example same that content we are uh, we are getting from this qr code okay this is the way to generate that qr code by using spring boot application if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel please like that video and share it to your friends and colleagues thank you thank you for watching